this rather impressive sound is the noise made by 250, 300 odd excited people here to see the final of the 1971 Radio Hong Kong Interschools Quiz from the City Hall Theatre. The finalists this year are the Island School, led by David Harris, with Rachel Speak, Anne Stanix, and Philippa Rainbird. <laughs> And Das and Girls School under their captain, Camille Tang, with Mary Chen, Carol Pennells, and Anna Tang. Well, I'm sure by now that virtually everyone knows the rules of the game, but just to keep the record straight, we'll go through them very, very quickly. We'll be asked one Each question in at a time, anyway. And if they get it right, they earn for their team two points. If they don't get it right, then anyone else in their team can volunteer an answer, and if that answer's right, that's one point. And if they also fail, it goes to the opposing team, and again, for one point. And I think without any more ado, we'll get underway here. And this, of course, is for um, the floating trophy, which is perched in front of me right now, a very handsome shield, which will be given to the lucky winners at the end of the programme. Now, we had a quick toss before the uh, programme started, toss of a coin to see who would start first, and the Island School won, and consented to agree, to, uh, to start, rather. So, David Harris for the Island School. Your first question in a round about Hong Kong. Can you tell me, David, who is the Director of Broadcasting? You'd better get it right, David, because he's sitting in the audience. I'm sorry, I don't know. <sighs> Horrors. Anyone else in the Island School? Yes, Philippa Rainbow. Mr. Donald Brooks. Mr. Donald Brooks is right. Very relieved to see One point for Island School. Now, your first round, uh, first question in this first round, Camille Tang for DGS. Can you tell me, Camille, who is the name, who is the head of the Government Information Service? Mr. Young? No, I'm afraid it's not. Anyone else in DGS? The head? of Government Information Services. No? Island School? Yes, and Stanix. Nigel Watt. Mr. Nigel Watt is right. One more point for Island School. Now it's the turn of Rachel Speak for the Island School. Rachel, can you tell me the, n the names of the, th the Education Department's three colleges of education? the three colleges of education here in Hong Kong. St. John's College, uh, Chang Chi, I'm afraid I don't know the third. Well, I'm afraid you haven't got any of them yet. None of those. Anyone else in the island school know the three education colleges or colleges of education in Hong Kong run by the education department? Philippa Rainbird, yes? One of them is Northcote College. One of them is Northcote College? I don't know any more. Ah. All right, for half a point, DGS, half a point here, as you've already been helped out. If anyone can tell me the other two, anyone in DGS can tell me the other two, there's half a point in it for you. Yes, Anne Tang, Anna Tang. Um, um, the Blake College. Robert Black College, that's one. One more to go. Um, I'm afraid I don't know. I think what we'll do is fair is fair. And um, Philippa Rainberg got half a point for Northcott College and Anna Tang half a point for Robert Blank College. The last one is, in fact, Grantham College. So I think half a point each there for a very noble try. Now, on to Mary Chen of DGS. Mary, your question, rather a similar one. Can you tell me the three colleges which make up the Chinese university? The three colleges of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Chongqi. Right. St. John's. On the Chu Hai. Oh, anyone well, else? I, I think it's a Chinese translation. Well, let's see if anyone else in your team, uh, Mary, can tell us the other two. Yes, Carol Pennells. Baptist College and United College. Well, you've got United College, but not the Baptist College. And I think what we shall have to do there is it becomes... No, I think what we will do is give you half a point, DGS, so far, and offer Island School the last one for 
the other half point. Anyone in Island School know the third one of these three Chinese colleges, Chinese University of Hong Kong? Nothing doing. Right, so half a point for DGS so far. The third one, the one which was missing, was New Asia College. Now, it's the turn of Anne Stanix of Island School. Anne, slightly easier than those last two questions. Can you tell me the name of the reservoir which is up in the hills to the west of Sha Tin? The name of the reservoir in the hills to the west of Sha Tin. Sha Tin Reservoir. I'm afraid not. Uh, Rachel, speak. The Jubilee Reservoir. The Jubilee Reservoir is right for one point. <laughs> And for Carol Pennells, Carol, can you tell me the name of the large reservoir on Lantau Island? I'm afraid I don't know. Does anyone in DGS know? Yes, Anna Tang? Oh, Shapik Rashawa. Right, Shapik is right for one point. <laughs> Last question in this first round for Philippa Rainbird of Island School. Philippa. What is the voltage of the electricity supply in Hong Kong? The voltage of Hong Kong's electricity supply. I don't know. Does anyone know, Highland School? Yes, David Harris. Is it 220 volts? 220 volts is good enough, it is, yes. One mark for And for Diocesan Girls' School, the last question, Anna Tang. Where would you tune in on your radio to listen to Radio Hong Kong? English service, that is. Does anyone know for DGS? Yes, Kamil Tang. Uh, 540. If uh, anyone in the island school can get a little closer, I think we'll give it to you, Kamil. Oh, Philippa Rainbow is going to try for the island school. Yes, Philippa. 545 kilohertz. 545 kilohertz is right, yes. One point. The other one... The other one, of course, was 91 megahertz. Well, that's the end of round one. So now let's see how the score is lying. Island schools so far have five and a half points to diocesan girls' schools' two points. <laughs> to round two, and this is on the subject of famous people. And we'll start this time with Camille Tang of Diocesan Girls School. Camille, can you tell me what art you associate Marcel Marceau with? Marcel Marceau. I'm afraid I don't know. Does anyone, in, I'll spell the name by the way, if you're confused by the name, would you like to spell it? Marcel, M-A-R-C-E-L, Marceau, M-A-R-C-E-A-U. Yes, Carol Pennells, did you? Painting. I'm afraid not, no. Island School? And all the hands go up. Uh, Anne Stanix? Um, mime. Mime, he is considered by many to be the world's greatest mime. One point for Island School. <laughs> Now on to Island School and David Harris. Your question, David. With what musical instrument do you associate the Russian gentleman Vladimir Ashkenazi? Um, is it the piano? In fact, it is the piano. Two points. Two points for now, Mary Chen of DGS. Can you tell me, Mary, who was the scientist who evolved the theory of relativity? Sorry, I don't know. Anyone else for DGS? How about Island School? Um, David Harris. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is... <laughs> Now, Rachel Speak of Island School. Rachel, your turn. Can you tell me, Rachel, who was the Austrian 
who is nicknamed the father of psychoanalysis. I'm sorry, I don't know. Island School, anyone else? Anne Stanix. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud, indeed. One point. <laughs> Now, Carol Pennells of DGS, can you tell me, Carol, who made the first solo flight across the Atlantic? I'm afraid I don't know. DGS, anyone else? Yes, Mary Chen. Alcock? No, I'm afraid Mr. Alcock was an Englishman and he went with a friend of his called Mr. Brown. No, Island School? And once again, Anne Stanix. Charles Lindbergh. It was, yes. Charles Lindbergh. <laughs> now, it's your turn, Anne Stanix of Island School. Your turn, and I'd like you to tell me the Italian electrical engineer who developed wireless telegraphy. Marconi. Marconi is right. Two points. <laughs> Anna Tang of DGS. This is the last question in this round for your side. Until he was murdered, one of the leading figures in the American civil rights movement was a Negro priest. Can you tell me who he was? Lincoln. I'm afraid not, no. Yes, Camille Tang. Martin Luther? Martin Luther King. Yes, one point. <laughs> Last question, Philippa Rainbird of Island School. Of what organization is Bobby Seale a leading figure? Bobby Seale, S-E-A-L-E. -E. Is it the Black Panther? It is indeed the Black Panthers, yes. <laughs> That has brought us to the end of round two, and time for another look at the score. Which is, for the Island School, 15 and a half points, and for DGS, three points. Right, on to a completely different uh, set of subjects here. Round three on the world of nature, and let's see if this causes any change in the state of the scores. Back to Island School and starting with David Harris. Question one in round three, David Harris, on the world of nature. Can you tell me what it is, what creature it is, that provides us with Angora wool? Angora wool, A-N-G-O-R-A. -A. Is it a sheep? No, it is not a sheep. Rachel, speak. The Angora rabbit. It is the Angora rabbit, yes. One point. Now, DGS and Camille Tang, a rather similar question. Can you tell us, Camille, what provides us with Kashmir? Kashmir. Spelt C-A-S-H-M-E-R-E. She? No, I'm afraid not. Anyone else? Yes, Carol Pennells for DGS. Is it a llama? No, it's not a llama. That's quite a good try. See if anyone else in from uh, the island school can tell us what creature provides cashmere. Yes, Philippa Rainbird. A goat. A goat, indeed. Yes, one more. <laughs> cashmere goat, so called, because that's where he comes from, in fact, from the region of disputed region of Pakistan and India called Kashmir. Now, the second question in this round, and it's the turn of Rachel Speak for the Island School. You might possibly, Rachel, see a bird on a rhinoceros. What would that bird be doing there? Um, it's because he's, he feels protected there because of the rhinoceros is, um, well, he can't be attacked, the rhinoceros, so the bird is protected. Very plausible, but not the right answer, I'm afraid. David Harris. Um, the bird picks um, small ticks off the rhinoceros's skin. That's exactly what it does. It's a tick bird who feeds... <laughs> ...feeds on the parasites in the rhinoceros's skin, and that's earned you one point for the island school. Now, Mary Chen of DGS, 
Can you tell me, Mary, what is the chief food of the blue whale and the basking shark? Fish. Can you be a little more specific? In fact, it's not fish. Anyone else for DGS? Carol Pennells. The plankton. Plankton is right, yes. <laughs> One point for DGS. And now, Anne Stanix for Island School. Anne, your question. Can you tell me the largest member of the deer family? The reindeer. No, I'm afraid not. Let's see if any of your teammates can tell us. Yes, David Harris. Is it the moose? It is indeed the moose. Oh, the North American. Yes. Of course, I'm sure you knew that the European elk is a shade smaller. That's a little bonus thing on the answer here. For Carol Pennells of DGS. Carol, can you tell me the name of the largest bird in the world? Ostrich. Right, two points. <laughs> Philippa Rainbird, Island School. Philippa, can you tell me where you would find... Gavials. I'd better spell that to you. G-A-V-I-A-L-S. More than one. Gavial. Whereabouts would you find them? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm quite honestly not surprised. I didn't either. Anyone else in your team? Any idea where one would find one or more Gavials? How about DGS? Have you a garviol in your bathroom? <laughs> well, the answer is, in fact, in the Indus, Ganges, and Brahmaputra rivers of India. And the garviol is the Indian crocodile. So no points for anyone, except perhaps for the gentleman who wrote this question. The last question in this round for Anna Tang of DGS. Anna, where would you find lemurs? L-E-M-U-R-S. Lemurs, lemurs or lemurs? L-E-M-U-R-S. Australia. I'm afraid not, Anna. No. Anyone else prepared to hazard a guess as to where it comes from? Yes. Carol Pennells. Equatorial forest. Well, there are an awful lot of equatorial forests. Can you tell me which country you would find this equatorial forest in? Malaysia. I'm afraid not. No. Anyone else in... Sorry, now it's over to the island school. Anyone in the island school? David Harris. Africa. No, I'm afraid not. That will not do. No points at all. They are only found in Madagascar. The only place in the world where you find lemurs, which are a type of uh, primitive monkey. And that is the end of round one, two, three. And let's see what has happened to the score now. <coughs> Island School have 19 and a half points. And DGS have now six points. And from the world of nature to the world of science, round four. Some questions on the subject of science, and I can hear one or two gasps already. Camille Tang of DGS, your first question in this round. Can you tell me how many teeth an adult human being should have? How many teeth should an adult human being have? 32. Right, 32. <laughs> and a very similar one for you, David Harris of Island School. David, how many bones do you have in your neck? Five. Nope. Uh, Philippa Rainbird? Three. Nope. DGS, think of a number, quickly. Seven. Seven is right. Yes, no. <laughs> now, it's your turn, Mary, for DGS. Can you give me the name of the lightest element? The lightest element. 
Hydrogen. Hydrogen is right. Two times. And Rachel Speak of Island School, which element has the lowest boiling point? Which element has the lowest boiling point? Oxygen. No. David Harris. Nitrogen. No, I'm afraid not. DGS. Anna Tang. Um, alcohol. I'm afraid alcohol's not an element, Anna. No, the answer is helium, which has the incredible boiling point of minus 268.9 degrees centigrade, it says here. So, no points for anyone at all. And on to the next question. It's the turn now of Carol Pennells. Carol, can you tell me when iron is galvanized, what is the substance it is coated with? I'm afraid I don't know. Throw it open to the rest of your team. Hannah Tang? Um, is it iron oxide? No, I'm afraid that's when it's rusted it's coated with iron oxide, not when it's galvanized. Island School and David Harris. Zinc. Zinc is right. One point. And the next of Island School, your question in this round. At what temperature would a centigrade and a Fahrenheit thermometer both have the same reading? At 50 degrees. No, I'm afraid not. If you're very good at mental arithmetic, you could possibly work it out. And it looks as though David Harris is trying to work it out. David, yes? Is it at absolute zero? No, I'm afraid it's not at absolute zero. Anna Tang? Um, negative 40. Right, it's minus 40. You seem to be something of a whiz at science questions, Anna Tang, and it's your turn now. Your question for Diocesan Girls' School. Can you tell me what causes fog? What causes fog? Condensation. Well, that's one of about 32 words on the answer. Condensation is only a part of the story. Can you tell me a little more? Just a little more. When moist air uh, um, on dew point is reached, um, that's what I wanted to hear, that air is cooled below its dew point. Two points for our... <laughs> and the last one in round four for Philippa Rainbird of Island School. Philippa, what would you use a hydrometer for? And I'll spell that for you. H-Y-D-R-O-M-E-T-E-R. -E -E a hydrometer. I don't know. Uh, David Harris? Um, to measure the density of a liquid. Can anybody offer me a better answer than that? Still one point in it, if you can offer me a more accurate answer. And I'll have to throw it over to the other side. Anna Tang? Um, to find the specific gravity the of a liquid. The specific gravity of a liquid. A hydronic... <laughs> And that is the end of round four, and I think there has been something of a dramatic change in that round. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Island School have 20 and a half points, and DGS have pulled right back into the running with 15 points. Now, the last round, and this will have to be a quick round on a subject which makes me groan, the subject of history. And it's DGS to open. Camille Tang, can you tell me the name of the last emperor of China? Xian Feng. Right. Two points. <laughs> Harris, Island School. Can you tell me, David, the last king of England? George the Sixth. George the Sixth. Right. <laughs> Uh, Mary Chen of DGS, can you tell me, Mary, the last state to join the USA? Mexico. No, afraid not. Anyone else? Yes, Carol Pennells. Alaska. No, afraid not. Island School. Anne Stanix. Hawaii. Hawaii is right. One point. 
Mitchell Scott of Island School, your turn. Can you tell me the last city to be attacked by an atomic bomb? Hiroshima. No. David Harris. Nagasaki. Is right. One point. For you, Carol Pennells, who was the last Tsar of Russia? Nicholas II. Right. Two points. Anne Stanix of Island School. Who was the last king of France? Louis Philippe. Louis Philippe. Right. Two points. Last question in this round. Anna Tang, can you tell me who was the last Viceroy of India? Anyone else in your team? Did you ask the last Viceroy of India? Stop that whispering, please. Right, Island School. And Anne Stanix. Mountbatten. Lord Louis Mountbatten, yes. One point. The very last question in this round, and in fact in this final of the 1971 Radio Hong Kong Interschools quiz for Philippa Rainbird of Island School. Can you tell me, Philippa, the last colony in India?